So now it feels like we're working with something. <laughs> Alright, got this set up a little bit more tighter. But I got these bolts down. I went and look at the tools over here. My truck, I use these two. I use this one on the bottom. And then this one on the top. Tighten down the nut and bolt. So this is 1116 I use for the top and then 18 I use for the bottom to hold it tight. The rest of her buckies that I wanted to grab along the way. Alright, so I'm gonna start cleaning up this other stuff over here. Get all this trash out over here. Um Wish it was a little bit more stable. Turn this way out the sun. Try to view it from the bottom. That board is starting to flex. Maybe put something right there. Maybe put that other board that that's on across the front. And I got a little. Gapper, we got a little gapper piece that uh, ain't that brick is moving. Yeah, I wish I had uh, a proper platform for it, like they used in the picture, even. They used a pallet to prop it up on. But, uh, yeah, I'm too poor for that. <laughs> uh, I wish, really, I just had a, uh, better level ground surface. It's all, like, slanted back here. Even up there is pretty much slanted, so I need to cut that grass. I need to pick up that pool and all that, so. I'll do a little bit of the other fixing up real quick. And I need to transfer some video from here to there to make a new video. And uh, I want to say a huge thank you. Huge, huge, huge motivational man. Lefty Two Guns. Your text message. Dude, I can't wait until we communicate more. Got so many plans for the future. But, um, yeah, I'll be texting you back here in a minute. I just got your text message of your video. And that will be going up, definitely. I mean, the motivation that you put into it to design it was uh, incredible. And uh, I appreciate it so much. And uh, hopefully able to do more. Uh, and I need to clean that bucket out. There's so much filthy water in it. And that tire... Yeah. But uh that tire over there I need to clean out. Mosquito breeding ground and that tire there. I need to clean up around this tarp. I need to fix this tarp. Hey, and since I cut that tree down. But yeah, thank you, Lefty Two Guns and we will definitely be in communication and much much uh much to do soon. But y'all got that pull up bar. And leg lift bar set up. There's a bench, uh, flat bench underneath to there. And I got weights underneath to here. I got a uh, bench press bar. My lawnmower over there. I need to dig out and chop up the grass a little bit. But uh, get some of this stuff cleaned up around here. Starting to make me more aggravating. The tire situation so I'll be back in a minute thank you for everybody and oh I can't wait for the future y'all have a blessed day something funny all that water right there all the way around all that fresh water uh, excuse me draining from this tire <laughs> that I had up there 
Let's end it back if uh, the video was in. If the video is in the frame at all from when I had the phone propped up on the tire and I was moving that around then uh, it was so heavy so much more heavier than it should have been especially with no air in it I mean the beads broke actually that's why I took it down because I was checking the back bead to make sure it was broke all the way and it was being difficult but uh still going a little bit I got these pry bars into that I got these pry bars into the side of the bead and uh I had them pry that bead off and see where all that water is draining out see how heavy it is now I just threw that in there oh, a little heavy still I'm doing it see if I can drain it a little bit more but oh it's kicking my butt it's having a little bit too much fun but we out here grinding we out here working, sweating like a, ooh. I know some from, as you can see, I moved that pool, that tarp, and I swirled some, sorry, I swirled some bleach around in that pool, and I rinsed it out with my garden hose. You can see, I cleaned up some of the other trash around here, like I said I was going to do a minute ago. And that toad over there, ooh, that had so much water in it. When I was sitting right here by the Durango, hmm, mosquito heaven around here. We have to know, I'll bake these, but they they drinking too much. They are alcoholic at the bar. Drinking for free. But, uh, yep, sitting here cracking down on this grinding. Kids are inside playing now. Neighbor Kyle, huh? we out here working, working on this dream, but uh, let me get to cracking, I'll be back in a minute, not why I had to play in it, but yeah. grind again. I ain't pushed it all yesterday. No. Was that last video? I'd have to check. I think I did. Yeah, I think the the last uh Huh. Huh. Somebody fact check me. Huh. I'm always wrong. But no. Uh, uh yeah I'm uploading what I done today, a couple minutes. So, uh, yeah, I got the, I got the wardrobe drying. Got so hot out here. So right now, I'm, oh, no shirt. Mosquito tear me up more. I had to finish a can of uh, Florida cologne. So, uh, you gotta give me some more. I'm about to put my shirt back on. It should be almost thundering. Yeah, let's try. So I'm about to set this phone up on either the bucket. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, oh. I'm about to set the phone up. I'm about to send this. It's still aggravating me. I got this different bar in there now. That bar, the little antique uh, 
tire hook bar that Albert brought me. I had, I finally got that one in there a minute ago on that hook. That took a, oh, I had to take uh, one of those bars there, the pry bar. That pry bar there. And the red one that's in there. And then I finally got this one in there. I think I even pulled down that. I used that prior bar, the flat bar. Down right there. I think I had to do that. Like put that in there. Put it in there like that. Pull down and it gives me that gap inside of there. Then with the other hand, that wouldn't be holding the phone. Grab the bar and slide the bar into it. But I actually took that one out. Took the red one, long red one out to move it around the tire, and I got some more water out of there. So it's, that portion is wet over there. I had come up underneath of here, and when I had it off, I had it on in the video I'm uploading now, and I took the tire back down. To check, make sure the bead was broken underneath the bottom with the new that bead breaker. Yeah, you like my uh, strap I added? Yeah, around the top because uh, the the brochure that's in the box over there. Even ah, we can hit the tree against that tree branch. And that ass hit my shoulder. But, so, I had, um, the brochure says use a pallet. The, most of the people online either use a pallet or, like, one dude, he even bolted it to the concrete floor. But, my concrete is so amazing, I don't want to damage it or drill into it or nothing yeah I gotta keep my concrete here preserved for the for the perfectionist but um since I'm still having so much bad luck I'm just getting this tire off and um uh, not going so well I'm going to change motivation I needed some more motivation like uh, the other night and I'm going to break this tire down using or since I'd, I could probably use that one but I'll probably use that one just because it's already unhooked and everything to break down that bead